guys it is monday april 28th and it is currently 9:48. um i didn't pick up the camera at all today and i'm gonna tell you why Everybody knows that, um, well, if you're new here, you don't know. Um, I was raised by my grandma. Uh, my biological mom is still here, but I never lived with her. I always lived with my grandmother, so she was my mom. Uh, she passed away in 2019. And so this morning, when I woke up, Google alerted me that today was the day that everything started in 2019. So in April of 2019, um, April 9th to be exact, um, she was complaining of her stomach hurting. And uh, we went to the doctor and he sent her for imaging and they saw uh, like a little tumor, but they didn't think anything of it. Or, or say anything so they told her she had to go to the gastro and gastroenterologist something like that and um he set her an appointment for june 5th so in the meantime she went on vacation she came back and she was really feeling bad so today april 28th of 2019 which was a monday um she told me I'm not feeling well. And she never really said that to me. So she said, I'm going to go to the doctor. I said, do you want me to go with you? She said, no. Um, she said, if I need you, I'll call you. So I went to work. And she goes to the doctor. So the the Google showed me uh, the ring cam that we had at the time. And um, I saw her walking out the door. Then it shows her coming back and having to go to the hospital. The doctor sent her to the hospital. So there, she, when she went to the hospital, they scanned her. They said something was wrong. And so it began a barrage of tests. So this week was like the week from hell. Um, that week, I remember everything in detail because I was her primary caregiver and working full time at the same time. Um... So, Friday, um, the 3rd, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, they, they implanted her with the shunt, you know, so that she could get chemo and everything. And they released her on the, on the 5th, which will be Sunday. So the reason why I'm very sad is because all the dates are matching, right? So after that year, none of the dates landed on the same day, but the dates land on the same day. So April 9th was a Tuesday. Um, April 28th today, um, which is Monday and May 3rd is Friday. May 5th was Sunday. Um, she had to go back on the 15th, which was the following Sunday, I think. Yeah, she went back on the following Sunday um, because she was she she was sick. So it was the 12th. So she went back on the 12th. They released her on the 16th, which was a Thursday. And then she went to Memorial Sloan Kettering. On the 20th, which is um, the best cancer hospital in New York City. Um, so, the ring cam showed me the last time that she left the house. She never came back after that. Um, and then she died on the 30th, which was Thursday of May. So, everything is, is coinciding. So, um... I'm not in the best of moods. 
Um, last year, every year around this time, I get really sad. Um, last year, my son came prematurely. So I really didn't, I really couldn't think about it because I was back and forth at the hospital. Like, I knew, but I didn't know because I was very worried about him. And I was like, I know that God is not going to take him from me. And then I have to deal with these two major things at the same time. I just knew. I just couldn't do it. Um, so I just focused on my son's um, journey to get out. <sighs> One second. Sorry, a child was calling me. Um, so I didn't. I knew what was going on, but I didn't. I, I didn't, you know, because I was too wrapped up in the NICU situation. And that was traumatic in itself. So this year, it's hitting me hard because it's been five years since I've seen my mom. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's crazy. I don't know. Mm. This, this is weird even saying that. I don't want to get all teary out talking to y'all, but I'm just being, I'm just being real. It's like, people don't know what it's like to lose your mom. Mm. <clears throat> One second. Okay, I'm back. Um, people don't know what it's like to lose their mom. It, so it's it's like best to not say nothing if your mom is still here. And I I know people be like, oh, but that was your grandmother or whatever. Mm, that was my mom. It was me and her from. The day I was born until I was 39 years old, it was me and her. When you saw me, you saw her. If you saw her, you saw me. So, I don't know. So, that's just how I'm feeling today. But I, t I told y'all I was going to try to be better at vlogging. And I'm trying to be transparent, too, because it's like, you know, I don't want to just show you the good side all the time. So, it's like, it's, it's, it's tremendous. It's, and it's like, you know, Matthias was turning one, so I was busy. Mikey was doing a lot with his businesses, so I was busy. I don't know why I'm watching Yo Gabba Gabba. He's not even up here. Like, Mikey was busy. Everything was busy, so I didn't have time to think about it, but... It hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, I couldn't sleep last night. I don't know why I couldn't sleep. And then it hit. So my body was already prepping me for this. And it's like, I know she's in a better place. But it's hard. Like, when you see somebody every day for 39 years of your life. And I'm saying every day. It's not like I didn't, you know... It was days that I didn't see her. I'm not saying that I... I was just with her all the time. I was with her all the time. So. It's just, you know. It's sad. But. I know y'all... I'm pretty sure y'all want to see... The lady that I'm talking about. So, I'm going to insert... Um, her picture. In here. And I'm going to go... Because I don't want to cry. Bye.